Thanks very much, James Bracey. You're doing a great job and deserve a raise. It's time for another Australian Open edition of The 100. Very excited. Got two players standing by to play. First up, representing Australia, Mike Goldstein. Thank you. Oh, just the one, one clap. <laughs> <laughs> and your formidable opponent tonight, Mike, the world number one, Iga Schwantek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Nice okay. moves. Uh, we've got 100 people standing by. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. That's a lot. They represent a cross section of Australia. We're going to ask them some questions. You have to guess what Australia is thinking and feeling. Okay? I don't even know what I'm thinking. So. <laughs> <laughs> First question How many of the 100 have a fake social media account? Pop your answers in. Just five percent. I had like fake account once, just oh. to prank people. So oh, right. <laughs> when I was like primary school, so really? I don't think what Facebook kind of, should be allowed. What kind of pranks were you doing? I think we texted um, our friend, and I kind of um, pretended that I was a boy, and I wanted to invite her for a date, and uh, she went somewhere, and it was it was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> so don't judge me. You've done it. Don't yeah. be yeah. judged. Mike, you said 15% why? Yeah, I mean, I have one, but it's just to troll pro tennis players online. Wow. Yeah, you might know me I'll as you. Boris Pecker69. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK, so it's not anonymous anymore. Uh, so. Let's see, how many Australians have a fake social media account? 17%. So Mike so gets close. the points on this one. Off to an early lead against the world number one. Mm. How many Australians know the capital of Poland. Oh. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's sad. Do you know it? No. You don't know the capital of Poland? I didn't listen in Polish studies. Oh. Of Poland, but I also don't think most of these people would know the capital of Australia. So. Do you know the capital of Australia? Uh, yeah, of course. What is it? It's tri Canberra, but it's it's tricky. I know it's well tricky, done. but... Well done. OK, let's see. <laughs> That's kind of normal. I mean, a lot of Australians don't know the capital of Australia. Do you know Australia. the capital of Poland? Is it Warsaw? Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's see how many Aussies got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 32%, which means Mike yes. wins the points on that one. <laughs> but... Ego, I mean, Mike wrote 10% because he's from America originally yeah. and they don't believe any other country exists. That's true. Yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> How many Aussies have lied to the police? Pop your answers in. Ninety percent? Well, maybe just a little, like... <gasps> like, not, not a bad one, like... White lies, little ones. Yeah, 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 I can understand that. Yeah. Mike, you think 60%? Yeah, it's fairly common. I lied to a bicycle cop last week. I said he looks cool and I like his little shorts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think that's a good one. <laughs> All right, let's see how many Australians have lied to the police. 29%. Oh. Mike Goldstein's the winner. Eager, bad luck. Thank you. See you tomorrow night.